All right, so your film is? Mixed Signals. And your name is? My name is Tracy Lightman. So tell me about your film. I mean, congratulations Thank for being you. here. Thank you so much. Um, my film, uh, Mixed Signals, is about a man and a woman misunderstanding each other. Uh, it's on a date. Well, he thinks it's a date, and she thinks it's you know, them hanging out. And uh, it feels very relatable. I think almost everyone can relate you know, to the story. But um, I tried to show two, two different points of view of the same situation. Um, and so, you know, rather than bashing either person, it really tried to explain how this could um, be confusing. And, and it's, it's pretty funny because it's just about a kiss, but the stakes are so low that it's funny. <laughs> and a kiss is so important, though. I mean, we all know it's like the thing that can make it or break it, right? Yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> so where did you come up with the characters? I mean, how did you work on them? And where did um, you find them? Um, well, it ha this sort of happened to me in the spring, and um, and a little bit. It was inspired by a situation in the spring where um, someone tried to kiss me, and I thought, Oh no! What? How did you get that idea? I don't know what you know. And I and I was replaying in my head, you know, all the and, and what he would say to me was like, Wow, he had a completely different inter interpretation of every everything. So um, I, it really made me think about it, and instead of just. Um, Kind of blaming you, and I thought, how can I make something that shows how it was confusing for us both? And so, that's so you made a film. Yes, and I called him. When I, by the way, I called after I made the movie. I thought I need to let him know that this is going to screen. You know, wow. so I said, hey, so the thing that happened in the spring, um, yeah. So I learned a lot from it, and I made a movie about it. Wow. And there was this long pause, and then he said, I was somebody's muse. Oh wow. And Ending That's to the a story. nice way to take it yeah, instead yeah. of just like, oh my god. Yeah, and I really, like I said, I really didn't bash anyone. It was really just about ex understanding each other. You know, so. so tell me about your actors. Uh, my actors are S Sandeep Parik and Heather Pasternak, and I was so lucky to have found them. And they they had a history of knowing each other before, so it was great because the chemistry was there, you know, or lack of chemistry, or however you want to say, you know, and um, because the couples don't get, you know, they don't turn into it. But um, they, uh, Sandeep was on the Guild. With Donald Glover, and, oh, wow. and uh, Heather does a lot of comedy. She did, um, she did, um, oh gosh, the Colbert Report this year. So that's really she's hilarious, you know. And she's and um, they added a lot of humor. That, I mean, there was humor in the writing, but they added their own special thing to it. And, and I'm just very lucky to find it. So. How long did it take to film? One day. What? Oh, yeah. <laughs> How long did it take to write? Um, it's Longer. A, it's a, I, I write and rewrite a lot, so it took yeah. like a month to rewrite, write and rewrite, and then like a month, solid months of prep where I was. It was like a house of cards every day. I'm like, how am I going to pull this off? And then, and luckily, the day after we shot in May, and the day after I was like, we did it. It happened. So like, yay. so it was it was a lot to pull off, even though it was just one day. I think the real question is, did you go out with a guy yet? That's why he said it to you. I want to have lunch. I was like, oh no, what do I do? Because what if he thinks this would be like a sequel? What if he thinks me telling him I made the movie? Well, like it's meta. Or it's like you know, it's it's like it's, you know, it just keeps going. Right. You know, and I'm like, oh no. So I had to say, uh, let's hang out later. <laughs> let's, uh, I'm still in the same place. Let's just, you know. So but, does he get an answer kind of to his question in, in the I film? I think so. And I asked him, because he, you know, he did come see it, and, and I asked him, I said, did you think it was fair? Did you think, you know, that I represented it? He's like, it was, exact, it was almost exactly what happened. Aww. Like, it's fine. It's great. He, he said I did a good job. So uh, that meant a lot to me, because I, it mattered to me that I respect the situation. Yeah. All right, we're going to get to our nerdy question here. So we want to know, this is your inner nerd coming out. <laughs> if you could have a weapon of choice, or a superpower from the nerd universe to fight the forces of evil, what would it be? Can I make one up? Absolutely. I, I don't know the actual one. Okay. Um, I want to. Can you cut this out? I have to think for a second. Um, I. If I could have any, a weapon of choice or any power from the nerd universe, right? Then I would have. Well, as a filmmaker, what I really want is just to be continually resilient. So I don't know. I just want to be able to take anything and keep going because filmmaking is so hard. So uh, I don't know what that manifests in physically, but if I could just bounce back somehow, no matter what, then I think that'd be good. How are you? Does that count? Yeah. That's totally. That's a great answer. Well, congratulations. Thank you for talking with us. Thank you so much.